Yes. All right, guys, happy Monday, June 19th, 835, coming to you from the beautiful city of Stockton this morning. I figured I would come here. I have a whole house full, so I got out of the office and I came, or got out of the home office and came here. So I am um, excited, I am passionate, and I am full of tremendous levels of gratitude. So as you guys know, my daughter is here uh, from Alaska, and I've been going through an arduous process and painful litigation process to make sure I have her in my life. And she's here, and it's actually the very first Father's Day that I've ever had her. And so it was just a really special day yesterday and spending some time and falling asleep in the movie theaters, do, doing dad stuff, right? Doing dad stuff. So um, I was just grateful to be able to be with everyone yesterday. And then my stepdaughter, who is 18, and she is just, she's the cutest kid. She's most responsible. She got me the same, the same stepdad black that she got last year. And so uh, I'm gonna put it on my credenza next to each other because i don't know if she knows that it's the same exact stepped up dad and it's this really heartfelt meaning that had a really heartfelt meaning last year but now it's the same shit it's like she got dad the same tie two years in a row but nonetheless i'm, I'm happy to have all my kids and so uh yeah nonetheless but let's go ahead and get started you guys one more time i'm gonna call a couple people out um elise sylvia young jordan um samantha let's see who else um uh, Sophia, Bev, if you guys have the ability to do so, please throw your cameras on and let's go ahead and get rolling. So I'm going to see who do I have on this morning? Um, all right, all right. So Jess, it's been a minute. I'm actually gonna turn the mic over to you. So Jess, I'm gonna have you take us out on the field today. Now, this could be in any tone, any way, any thought, any direction, any sentiment. I'm gonna really leave it up to you. So Jess has got her dog. Um, uh, full of energy, full of excitement. So Jess Bling, I'm going to turn the mic over to you and have you take us out on the field on this glorious, beautiful Monday morning. Let's go. All right, Shaw, as I look exhausted, but it's because I had such a great weekend. Um, I think the, the biggest thing that I want to focus on more so than ever is just constant gratitude. Um, I fucking love what I do and it allows me the opportunity to make an income to change my life and the people around me. And it may not seem like a big deal, but eating is a big thing for me and being able to break bread with people. And when we go out and I pay for it, it's not to flex. It's the ability of me being able to do that and not have to worry about where the money is going to come and tipping way more than you probably should is uh, as long as the service is great, <laughs> even if it's bad, leave a note, give, give a good tip and leave a note. But I feel like, you know, paying for food and giving a good tip, like it's all just a reminder to the, the universe that you're grateful and that the money is going to return, but you're able to find a way that you can connect with your people. And this weekend was a beautiful balance of that. We door dashed some s'mores last minute. And I was like, fuck, did I really just spend $50? And then I was like, who cares? Like, that's nothing. And it literally brought joy to about a million kids or what felt like it because I was overwhelmed, but also like the grown adults and stuff like that matters to me. So anyways, gratitude, focus on that. Find a way to love on your people. It may not be through food. And just remember that if you're doing the work and you spend the money, the money will come back to you. But if you're not doing the work, then you're delusional. <laughs> yeah, and then if you're just trying to do it to buy the business, then that's not yeah. the right thing either, right? Intentional. Wow. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love this. I love this, Jess. You know, so I appreciate the sentiment. I appreciate you bringing us out on the field. And you guys, l let's just have this conversation. And obviously, we know this. Motivation is fleeting. And motivation is good for that time being. But it doesn't really serve you, right? And so... I say this usually once a quarter, like if you're coming here and you're looking for some level of motivation, then cool. Then I feel like I could probably give you a, a, a glimpse of motivation or maybe give you some inspiration, but that's really not why you should be here. If you're coming to these sessions and you're spending an hour, you're either present or you're not, that's on you. But if you're coming here, like truly, truly be here with an intent to actually take something from this group and then go and apply it instantly in your business. There, literally, you could take one thing that you hear from today and say, okay, after group coaching, if I come to fast forward movement, I have a half an hour. 
I can really do something within that half an hour that I took directly from this group. So I want to make some commitments before we go on. And I want to really kind of recalibrate what we're doing and really walk you through the purpose and the cause and the meaning of Keep It Moving Group Coaching. This is all about the collective wisdom. And if you don't get involved in the conversation, then you are not living in the spirit of the collective wisdom. I don't care if you're brand new or if you're a top producer on the line. Everyone has something to contribute. But what happens is sometimes we get a little nervous. We get a little trepidatious. This environment could be a little intense. I get that. I, I, I created it. So I understand that. But this is all about you guys feeding each other thoughts and ideas so you can walk out of here and say, you know what? I'm better because of my team. So if you're that silent person that comes on and keeps this as a background noise as a podcast, I want to encourage you to be present. I wrote some notes here. Show up be present and be proud of your contributions in the way that you showed up here, right? The rings, the dings, the bings, the emails, all those things, you guys, be present right now. Be proud of the way that you show up. Be proud of the contributions that you're going to make and want to make and the things that you share and be proud of your engagement in this room and do it anyway. When you leave this room, you don't have to be in the right mood. You don't have to have the right feeling to do something. Do it anyways. There's so many times where I'm not in the mood to do things, but I know that I have to do it. And that's what will separate the successful people from the unsuccessful people on this call, in our environment, in our team, in our company, so on and so forth. So fuck the mood. Fuck how we feel about things, the energy level that we may or may not have. Oh, I'm tired and I drank too much tequila. Less. I don't care. I don't care. You have a dream, you have a passion, you have a cause, you have a crusade, you have a, a purpose. In this business, walk into that every single day, you guys. That's my message for the morning. Be present, be here, be involved, get your cameras on, ask questions, throw your hands up, love, like, comment in the, in the, in the chat below. Ask other people to share what they have, but let's be present. Can I get a thumbs up for all of us to be present, be involved in this conversation today? Can I get a thumbs up? Two thumbs up, one thumb up. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys. So let's do this. I want to have a question, a conversation about this. And I think over the next four weeks, we should have this conversation. And I might even do a small mastermind solely on this conversation right now. By a show of hands, how many people right now, and give me a reaction with the reaction button down below, have used AI in their business in any form any capacity, any way, shape, or form, please give me a thumb up reactions only on the screen. I want to be able to look around. All right, cool. So Lydia, Jess, G, Jennifer, Love Preet, Aaliyah, Jordan, okay, Nias, uh, Elise, okay, love this, love this. Colin, um, no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a thumb up, but I appreciate it. That's why we're getting involved. All right, cool. Adana Chan, I love this. Now, I need three people to share with me strategies. And I want to keep this session really, really brief because I've loaded up some really dope prompts for you guys. Because check this out. We are still really, really early in the game in AI. So I paid to be a part of this mastermind and I'm going to be unpacking a lot of this information and I'm going to be bringing it to you guys and I'm going to save you a grip of money. Money you don't have to spend, but I'm just going to repurpose everything that I've learned from this mastermind. So open AI. Um, makes ChatGPT. I'm sure you guys know this, but only 14% of Americans truly, truly use ChatGPT for monetization. Now they might use it to say, hey, give me my meal prep for the week or whatever that looks like. But only 14% of Americans are using it in the way that we are going to use it to grow our brand, to build our business, and to eventually monetize the way that we are marketing through ChatGPT. So stay with me. Knowing that, I want to ask you guys, what have you used ChatGBT for? Because there's always these talks. And I think I've heard Colin say, I've heard other people say, it's like, will ChatGBT take our jobs or will AI take our jobs? No. What will happen is that somebody that knows how to use ChatGBT and AI and use those services and that, that tool to the highest level, those people may potentially win over you in the future if you are not using this to your advantage and they are using it to theirs. I believe if used properly, it will give us all competitive advantage. So I need to ask three people right now to get involved in the conversation. If I have room for two more, I'll take two more. So keep your hand up. Who 
has used this and how have you used it? What was the strategy used? And I want you guys to share. So I'm going to try to get Elisa when she is on her downstroke. So Lydia, I'm going to have you go first. Chris, and I'm going to go Jess, and then we'll open it up based on how long this takes. So Lydia, rapid fire. What have you used it for in any, any business? Because I know you're an entrepreneur. So tell us how you've used this platform. So I love Jet Chat. GPT. Um, I actually just made a post about, so I call her, I call chat, I call AI her. She's like my best friend. We talk all day. I literally will just like open up the app and then press the talk button and then just speak into her and say, Hey, good morning. I hope you're having a great day. Can you please help me with, um, writing an Instagram caption for my post? And then I'll describe my post and everything about it. And then um, she'll literally write the post caption for me. And then I just tell her, thank you. And she tells me, thank you. You're welcome. And then I go about my day. <laughs> okay. And so how have you used it? So you've, you've obviously created a dialogue. I get that part. Give me some mm -hmm. strategies. What have you used her for? So I have used her for open house captions. Um, I explained to her what the house has, the square space the square footage, the rooms. Um, I tell her where it's located and she just makes it into a really pretty, um, you know, format for me. And I've also used it for like my um, training caption for my beauty business. And I just tell her, okay, this is my training. This is how much it costs. This is how many days. This is the info on it. And then she will go ahead and format that for me so that it comes across nice. I love this. So Lydia, Think about this. Oh, maybe you already already have the number. How much time do you think that you've gotten back because you've had someone else do the writing for you? Yeah, no, she saves me hours, literally hours, because I will like just be trying to figure out what is it I want to say, how do I want to write it? But it's not now I'm not trying to like figure out what is it I want to say, but more just telling her what it is, and then she will put it for what it is that I should be saying. I love, I love that ChatGBT is now a, a woman because we all know that the women, <laughs> women are the smartest creatures on earth. I'm saying it. All right. I love you, ladies. I get it. <laughs> look at, look at some men are like, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> so, so we're, I appreciate We're not this. even 24 hours past Father's Day. Come on, guys. <laughs> I appreciate this. So, Lydia, really great stuff. Let's go to Chris and then we'll go to Jess Bling. Um, so, Chris Edwards, let's hear from you. Lydia, wonderful contribution. I appreciate that. All right, good morning, team fast. So um, I think I'm pretty solid at doing research. And what Chat GPT did for me just just, just cuts it in half because um, I've always cross-check my references if I ever do some research. So the past few videos that I've done in the fast book has been me putting it on GPT and then just putting my own words to it for sure. And um, I, I know some of you guys know that I had to stay in a hotel uh, last year for a long time with insurance. And we were having problems with, with trying to address the insurance properly. And I asked G Chat GPT the question, and they gave me the exact answer to give to the to the insurance company, and they didn't have a rebuttal. So it's like it, it, it's pretty solid. After that, I, I downloaded it on my phone. I used to have it on my computer, and that's on my phone. I'm like, what? Any question? Rewrite this. Okay, rewrite it again. And then I just have different options and put your own twist on it. You're telling me that, that Chat GBT is also your lawyer in this case. <laughs> Pro bono, baby. That's right. And then, Chris, really quick, you said that you use and leverage Chat GBT, help you do research for your videos. Did you use Chat GBT for your recent Juneteenth video? Uh, I did, but the words were me. The research was Chat GBT. So they didn't know I was from San Francisco. They didn't, you know. Things like that, but yes, the information about they told me about Gaveston, Texas, and I had to make the video shorter than sixty seconds. And I'm like, okay, how can I make it shorter? Like, what's so important about Gaveston, Texas? Oh, it's the last Confederate state. Cool, I'll put that in there. The last Confederate state. Take some words out. Things like that. But um, most of those words were me. But the research was 100% Chat GPT. I'll tell you what, man. You know, I knew the words were you right because I could feel it in your own dialect. But the information, the content, the content of that was absolutely incredible. If you guys haven't seen Chris's video on Juneteenth, you want to know a little bit more about what that actually means, make sure to watch that video. It is a fire video, amazing editing and amazing information. So I thought that video was 
Incredible. Great job. Jess Bling, let's hear from you. Um, how have you used ChatGPT? Talk us through high-level strategies. Um, I think in a couple of the ways that the previous people mentioned, one of the ways that is a little bit different now is I think I told you I've been trying to fine-tune my audience and attract more people that are six-figure earners that want to learn how to leverage real estate to build their net worth. So I told ChatGPT that exactly. What are the most popular subjects that are being searched right now that millennials that make six figures that need to invest their money are searching? And it says, it's not like a Google thing, but it says here, here are these top few. And so um, I'm slowly going to be integrating that into the subjects of the videos that I'm recording. Um, but also you can ask how that ties into real estate and it'll give you real estate topics as well that you can create videos on. Uh, I used to rack my brain for that. And so this is a huge time saver. So I'm getting the ideas from there. I'm getting the uh, captions, which I do personalize and also asking for the most popular hashtag. So I'm literally sending my videos to the shredders. I get them back, go into chat GPT for literally like a minute and I have everything ready to go. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys think about this. <clears throat> in the caption, or excuse me, in the chat down below, if you were to really figure this out and think about this, what is your average um, hourly rate? You're right. What should someone, what would you charge someone to work with you hourly? And if you're doing administrational tasks that could be offset, could be done by ChatGBT for free, that you pay 20 bucks a month for them to have for, I pay 20 bucks a month to have ChatGBT plus, but 20 bucks a month and how much time that shit is unlimited, right? Because I don't know about you, 500 to a thousand dollars per hour, right? But if you're spending time on 10, $15 an hour, ask you're, you're wasting your time when it can be leveraged let's get one more person on this conversation let's go with Aaliyah. Aaliyah, you had your hand up and then we're going to move on i need half a million that's right Aaliyah, what's up i was surprised nobody said this but i use it for my emails um i i don't have them like just write the email by itself usually i'll pre-write it and then i'll say um rewrite this and i'll paste the email and it'll just make it look sound very professional and um, just put together. And if I don't like the format, then I can say like, oh, make it sound a little more uh, casual or um, just however I want it. And it will just write, write it out. So it's super dope. I love this. I love this. How many on this call believe that they're really, really good writers? Please raise your hand if you feel like you're a good writer. Because some of us are not, and that's okay. That's not our strong points on our core competency, but this allows you to really step up your writing game. So here's what I want to do is I'm going to share some prompts with you guys. And I want to do this just to give you guys some thoughts on some prompts that you guys can feed into chat GBT to really create some things that are going to give you some ideas, because what happens is that we're always searching for things to create content on. Well, I can tell chat GBT to do three things for me right now. Provide me a script that is less than a minute and 30 seconds, short, sweet, to the point about a certain SEO optimized search for Instagram. Okay, there's one. I could also tell them to write me um, an essay style post for LinkedIn, right? We all have LinkedIn, but none of us fucking use it. A few of us, you know, not to its, to its uh, full degree. And the third, I can create a Facebook post based on what they said. So it's like, I literally can go in there and now I can have them do three things. And now I have three different things that I'm posting simultaneously. And now I really have some, some traction. And now you can go back and analyze what worked and what did not. So I'm going to share my screen really quick with you guys. Feel free to take some notes. Um, I went in and I just created some things uh, today. That way you guys have some food for thought. And I'm going to go right back up here to this. So I did a lot of writing this morning. I put in a lot of stuff here just to kind of give you a sense of, of how to use ChatGBT. And I use the plus. It's 20 bucks a month, you guys. I highly recommend that you use ChatGBT for that is my recommendation. I just think that the dialogue is a little bit deeper. But a couple of things. Um, I'm going to share this one with you guys really quick. Last week, we did, um, let's see, six steps to home ownership from a dog's point of view. This was a super, super 
cute example of how you can use your dog, use your pet, use your cat in your newsletter. And I thought that it was it was really, really cute. Uh, choosing the perfect yard. Once you've found the right neighborhood, you want to find the home that has a yard right size for you. Everything was from the vantage point of the dog. So just food for thought on this one was baseline. But let's go in here. What I've done here is I've created a couple different profiles and a couple different prompts to tell um, ChatGBT. And I'll share the first one with you guys. And what I did is I told ChatGBT what our ideal consumer is, is and what it looks like. As a marketing specialist, your task is to create an ideal profile for a real estate business located in Sacramento, California. I just use Sacramento because um, that was the city I chose. The business specializes in real estate sales that creates the heightened consumer experience. Your profile should be detailed and use combination of demographics, psychographics, behavioral data to identify the target markets, their interests. So what it did is it wrote out what my ideal consumer actually is based on what I want to create in this business. So what does that allow you to do? It allows you to create your marketing plan, the thoughts, your idea, your approach to everybody that fits into this demographic. So I'm going to have you guys do this. I'm going to share the document with you. You guys can go in here and create your own avatar. That is the consumer that you truly want to go after right now. Uh, here's uh, what I hear a lot of times. Well, I help renters, I help buyers, I help sellers, I help investors, I help, you know, relocation. It's just all over the place. I want you guys to really hone in on what your target demographic is and who your target avatar is. So stay with me. I went in here and I wrote here, create an SEO optimized Instagram video script under two minutes with five secret things that people don't know about Sacramento. Now think about that, you guys. Think about where you are. Create an SEO optimized Instagram video script under two minutes with five secret places that people don't know about in Oakland, in Castro Valley, in Berkeley, in San Jose, in Southern California, wherever it is. And some of the stuff on here was actually pretty dope. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to unveil five secret things you probably didn't know about Sacramento, California. Let's go. I, like just reading it, they obviously, that's a pretty good hook. I would remove the hello, everyone, and just get right in to the body of what your script's going to be. It's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that Amer that um, that Sacramento is America's farm to fork capital. I had no idea that that was even a thing. I did know that there was a huge gold rush, you know, history there. Um, the underground city, I didn't even know what this was. After the devastating flood of 1862, the entire city was raised a level. You can still towards these fascinating underground places today, spaces today. I had no idea that this existed. Now, short drive from Sacramento, we all know the Jelly Bean Factory, Jelly Belly Factory, but this is just ideas. And you guys don't have to use all five of these. You'd be like, ooh, that's really, really good. So I started out simple. Let's get a little bit more complex. And you can see end here the video. Give me 20 ways real estate agents in Sac the San Francisco Bay Area can grow their social media engagement and followers. Okay, it's probably something that attracts to all of us. So what I did is I just created a prompt for that. Here, create consistency. We talk about this all the time. Interactive posts, create polls, quizzes, surveys to promote user interaction. This is not only going to boost your engagement, it also provides you the valuable insights into your followers. Use hashtags, virtual tours, Local market updates, home staging tips, use generated um, user-generated content, and scream stories and reels. The list goes on and on and on and on, but you can ask it any way that you want to ask it. Check this out. This was really, really cool. Give me an SEO-optimized Instagram video script with five reasons people love moving from San Francisco to Sacramento. Okay? Now, you guys can think about this in any context. Why people love living in Sacramento, why people love living in San Francisco, why people are doing X, Y, Z. Create a newsletter for me that shares why so many people are moving from San Francisco Bay Area to Sacramento. Write a newsletter in a real estate context about the economic impact that Sacramento has had over the last couple of years because of all the people moving from the Bay Area to Sacramento. I, you can literally write it just like that. And then what are they going to do? They're going to start spitting all that stuff out, right? Stay with me. 
So this is, are you considering moving to the bustling San Francisco Bay Area to Charm City of Sacramento? Here are top five reasons why people love this transition. Cool. Maybe you don't like that hook. Shorten that hook up. But what I'm saying is that we have every single thing because I promise you, there's people that aren't as talented as you. They're not as, as, as sharp as you. They're not as good looking as you. They don't have great communication skills like you do. All they're doing is they're leveraging things that make them seem like they have their shit more together. Okay, stay with me, stay with me. The whole scene goes on. Check this out. Give me an SEO optimized Facebook post with seven things empty nesters should consider before downsizing and listing their home for sale in Oakland with seven being call me, <laughs> right? So you list everything out. Now, you don't have to take all these, but what I want this to do is I wanted to get Aaliyah's mind working. I wanted to get Chris' mind working and be like, all right, cool, just like Chris did with the Juneteenth video. He's like, ooh, I like that. I didn't know about Galvez then. I didn't know about this. And now he's entering that into his flow. He's using words that were created for him. Now he's changing that context of those words and putting in his own idol and the way that he communicates, but he's using really, really great information. So stay with me. A couple more for you guys. Give me an SEO optimized Instagram video post less than two minutes with seven reasons why buying a home while stationed at Travis Airfield Base in California makes more sense than renting. Okay, we're in a place where we see tons and tons of service members come to Solano County. Why not create posts that says, if you're a service member coming from the East Coast, coming from you know um, uh, North Carolina, wherever they come, Virginia, Here's things that you need to know if you're thinking about purchasing a house in Solano County and the surrounding areas. So literally tell it whatever you want to tell it. And it lists all the things that are associated with that prompt. You guys can go in here and you can ask it anything that you want. Five things to do in, in um, Oakland with kids on a budget. Like you guys can go detail after detail after detail after detail. It is not that hard. What, what it is, is that it's going to give you an advantage. And so I want to kind of open it up for you guys. Based on what you guys see, what you can, what you heard from other team members, if you were to go out right now and use ChatGBT to do a, a project for you, do a task for you, create a script for you, create some content ideas for you, do a LinkedIn post for you, do a Facebook post. What would you have her? <laughs> I like that. What would you have her do? And so I want to open up the mic to as many people as possible to really get involved in this conversation. Based on what you heard, based on what you are seeing, what would you? So Sammy, let's have you go. And then you guys get in this conversation because I'm sure we're going to come up with some really good shit. Hi guys, sorry, look a mess. Um, but what I got from ChatGBT, actually, Michael and Vanessa taught me it because I was um thinking in the office, like, what am I gonna write for my bio on this listing that I'm gonna post? So, like, use ChatGBT. I was like, what the hell is that? Long story short, I one of my listings wasn't selling, and what I did is I used a strategy to go on Facebook groups and post it on there, and I realized I only got like 500 hits. I use ChatGPT to re like word everything, like, you know, single family home with ADU, with permits, something so simple, but something catchy. And from doing that, I got 6,000 views and now my listing is pending. Wow, incredible. And I realized like it's the wording, you know, that, that changes everything. And I plan on doing that with this open house that I'm gonna do for a, another listing that I just dropped a price on for this coming weekend because I saw the results in it. Oh, I love this. I love this. Really great stuff. Let's go to a few people. If you guys don't have your hands up, I'm just going to call on you. Um, let's go to Hector. You had your hand up a little bit earlier. I want to go to Vernon. I want to go to Griselda. I want to go to Elise Jones. Um, Hector, I know you're using this in Southern California, big dog. Tell us how, tell us what, um, and how you're deploying this into your business. Let's hear from you. Hey, good morning, everyone. Great to be back here real quick. Just wanted to share what I'm doing with ChatGPT. Uh, my niche is divorce. You know, I've been building relationships with attorneys, and so I asked ChatGPT to, you know, put together based on my prompt, you know, a list of things uh, or concerns that people that are going through divorce 
might be considering or thinking about when, when, you know, when going through the divorce process, specifically to, you know, um, real estate assets, you know, what to do, how to prepare yourself. So it gave me a whole nice rundown, probably of about maybe 28, 30 points that I'm going to break down and take those one by one, create video content on, and more importantly, create some SEO blogs as well. Cause uh, believe it or not, SEO blogs um, are definitely trending. And it's a really good way to, to bring others into your ecosystem with regards to who you are, the areas you serve, and, and just real estate in general. So that's that's how I'm using ChatGPT is really niching it down to some of the things that I'm doing for divorce and also creating that for probate because those are two fields that need to sell, divorce and probate. So that's how I'm using it. Wow. You guys, should, so check this out. I put five concerns for divorce, divorcees dealing with real estate assets. You guys can go so far into that conversation. And I promise you, if you do that, that video, who does that video speak to? The video speaks directly to the people that are going through that. Now, first time home buyer, they don't really care about that, but someone's going to engage, comment, or DM him with a specific, uh, specific, a specific need because that's what, who's going to respond to that video, right? So he's going to get good quality engagement from people that actually have that need or are at that stage of their life. So Griselda, based on what you know, if there was a prompt, something you want to feed this thing, what would you tell her? What were you hoping that she could give to you, maybe on a project or a thought and an idea? Where's, what's something you would tell her or what's something you would use her for? I actually recently used her for um, creating a, a door knocking flyer. I, was in, I wanted to introduce myself to my neighbors in this townhome community, and I wanted it to connect with my neighbors. So I wanted to include that I was a neighbor, a local realtor, and that my children attended the school and what I loved about the community. And so I put that all into ChatGPT. And I also said like, Excuse me, my daughter's here. Um, I also said something like, you can even say like, make it a, a call to action or make it more sentimental and it will change the wording for you. So um, I'm going to be door knocking my neighborhood with this new flyer that I created, introducing myself and why I love the community and how my children go to the school. Yes, one second. And so that's what I did with ChatGPT just recently. Is your, is your flyer done? Can you, can you share it? Um, let me double check. I have okay. my VH. Let me check it for you. Okay. All right, cool. I'll, I'll come okay. back to you in a moment. Let's go okay. to Vernon. Let's go to Donna. Let's go to Lizette. Um, let's hear from you, big dog. If you were to use it based on what you know, whether or not you're using it or have not used or, or choose to use it in the future, like where are your, where's your mind at? How's it spinning right now? Well, I just need to find out more about how it works and how I can actually leverage it in every aspect of my life, because I'm sure that it would be of a benefit beyond just business, right? And so um, just having the willingness to get comfortable with artificial intelligence and just accept that that's, that's what it is in terms of where we're going. Um, I don't know how I could use it because I've never really played with it, but I'm, I'm inspired by this conversation and, and, and the ease of the information that it provides for me Shoot, man, looks like I can replicate myself for twenty dollars a month. You know what I mean? For free, I just I just paid for the plus version. <laughs> I just I just paid for the plus version, but I like it. I like that your mind's working. Donna Chan, you had your hand up a little bit earlier. Um, have you used it first off in the past? And you know, based on the conversations, wh what are you thinking? How could you use it as we grow this platform out? Yeah, good morning, everyone. Um, ChatGPT is so new. And like I said, you know, our team is so forward innovative that we are the first one top 10% that's starting to use it a lot. Uh, I use it as um, a writing assistant. Like I said, Aliyah, you know, sometimes writing it, our text can be very overdrawn long. How can we uh, paraphrase any of that text? As a um, advisor on the team, I just, you know, I use that so that it's easier for my, my advisees to understand it because it's very complex, right? We kind of like want to write a long 
because we have years of experience of doing all this. And it's like, okay, now it's getting too deep. Like, how can I paraphrase this that they can understand it? So um, there's so many awesome ways to use chat GPT right now, especially like chat bots. Um, that's another great way to integrate that onto your personal website. Kenny has done that for a long time. I think when we first started on the team, we had our um, real scout, right? It's already, and I had a picture of Molly there answering all of my clients' texts. I'm like, whoa, why are these people looking? And I look back on it. It was because they're working for you automatically while you're sleeping when, and answering your clients. So that was already part of AI, right? And I think the next generation of it is AI. Of course, will we as realtors be replaced? I don't think so because there's always, there's who can, that person to person is never going to be replaced, right? They can't, an AI can't go and get an off market listing for my clients and get that deal closed. So, um, but, you know, ChatGPT is a great way to help, you know, you rewrite your resume if you wanted to as well too, because there's a huge abundance of it. But that's what I've been using. It is kind of like uh, rescripting my IG posts. How can we make it smaller, uh, summarizing things? And so it's just a lot, of, it's just a lot of help, right? And so, and like I said, there's free versions out there that can still, you know, if you're a new agent, you know, and you're trying to keep limited funds, you don't have to pay for that free. There's other options. There's other uh, platform apps that you use that already give you an AI. So use those, right? Right? And it's free yeah. as well, too, just as good. So, totally. and, and I'm glad that you said this, Donna, because, you know, let me reiterate this. We won't lose our jobs to AI, rather lose to someone that knows how. And, and just take this for context here. If somebody really is able to capitalize the use of AI that writes their newsletter, helps them with their captions, helps them with their, their LinkedIn, helps them formulate their hooks. And so now they've gotten back all this time that they can then go out and prospect for new listings and check it out. That person's going to win because they've leveraged their time and they could spend more time doing income producing activities. So learn how to use this to just leverage your time to create another extension of a Vernon, to create another extension of a Jennifer Angel. So this is really good stuff. Jennifer Angel, you had your hand up a little bit earlier. I want to make sure to give you the mic as well. What was your thoughts, contributions on the conversation? Uh, yeah, it's really, really great. Um, <clears throat> I actually just used it over the weekend. I, I finally got was able to log into my Zillow profile. Um, I remembered my password for that since they were responding to me. But anyway, I use it to update my bio on um, Zillow. So I really like, you know, I put in, you know, create me a bio based on this information. So I, I type in all the things about me and then it put it together. Um, I've also used it to create flyers for, for my listing. So um, it's really powerful. And I, I'm just realizing now I'm not using it to its full potential. So I think I need to put in my calendar, you know, go in there, create content using chat GPT. Love it. I love it. Um, you guys, here, here's the thing. It's just, it's endless. It's endless. I just want you guys to start playing with it, but be very specific with what you want it to do and how you want it to do it. Because she will listen to exactly what you tell her to do. I'm going to add another hand up. Elise, let's hear from you. And then I'm going to show you with you guys some resources. Um, so I've been using it pretty simple, just making like content calendars and um, like rewriting emails, like a lot of people have been saying. I think the biggest thing that I didn't think to use it for would be helping me create content because I do get stuck a lot on trying to figure out what kind of content cre to create to share. So I think that's definitely going to be the biggest one for me is using that to my advantage to get more content out. Yeah. And here's the thing. Maybe you just used it as of for right now, just to help you with your hooks, right? So just how are you opening up your video? Because we all know, and if you don't know, now you will. Watch time is everything on Instagram. Watch time is everything. So if it takes you four seconds to get into the actual meat of what you're going to say, people probably have just skipped over that video. So maybe it helps you keep people engaged so they watch your whole 30-second um, video. So I love this, Elise. Anybody else have a thought where their head is, a uh, contribution to this conversation? Because uh, I want to hear from you guys. I want to make sure to give you the mic. Anybody else have a thought, a contribution on how they can or will? Nias, let's hear from you, big dog. Yeah, it's just like everybody else has been saying, just basically just experimenting to learn the different type of prompts 
that you can be able to utilize it with. Uh, one of the things that I've done recently is that um, the Juneteenth Festival is um, I use ChatGPT to kind of write out a script for me for a video um, that I sent people to um, from a QR code to be able to watch in high note based off of uh, a home, the first time home buyer program or whatever. And so, um, yeah, and so that's what I did just well, on Saturday, um, printed out some flyers, went out to a Juneteenth festival and had a QR code on there and um, looked on there yesterday and people already hit the QR code on there and watched the video that I did. But it was um, also within high note, within the video, I'm able to see how long that they were able to watch the video. and. They, I was able to see the people's reaction from the full, um, they watched the full video. And so I just kind of read the chat GPT kind of like word for word on the person because I was kind of like pressed for time. I didn't have time to be able to reword it and stuff like that. And um, so far I got like about five people that went inside of there and just hit it. Um, I got like four buyers um, yesterday, well, potential four buyers from the festival yesterday from just talking to a lot of people. And today they're going to be having a big, um, well, festival for Juneteenth at the state capitol. So I'll be down there doing basically the same thing, but just wow. utilizing GPT, um, chat GPT. But yesterday what I did was, is I started experimenting with it even more. I like have all the door knocking scripts and all the other type of scripts just to be able to play with it. But I see, I saw something on yesterday on, um, on Instagram and he was saying like, create a persona. And when you create that persona, it's like, okay, do this here. You kind of list the criteria what it wanted or what you wanted to do. And it just spit out this big old <laughs> thing or whatever. And then I said, okay, now put it into a different content to where I can be able to share it on video. Yeah. And it had the narrations and everything out there like that to where it had like pictures, it's like picture suggestions, everything to where it's like, man, like with this video right here, I can just basically just get the pictures, do this here or whatever. It has the narrator in there as far as what that's you're talking right. about. And so it's just phenomenal. And that's the reason why I said inside the chat earlier, that, um, I know that a lot of people may not have like the video editing, you know, um, aspect, but that's the reason why we have the shredders, but we should literally be putting out like at least one or two videos a day, you know, with, with the access of now having content created for us. Totally. And here's the thing, you guys, um, there is, Instagram really wants to see native creation. What I mean by that is they want you to be creating inside of the app. Obviously, we're using Kafka. We have our own shredders, but don't let that be the only way that you're posting videos. They want to see that you're using the native captions and the new, native um, editing tools that live with inside of, of Instagram. So um, they want to keep you there using the tools, and that's going to help you guys um, trend and get more into the algorithm. So. A um, couple things I want you guys to write down really quick, and here are some things for you guys to go and do some research on your own. So obviously, ChatGPT, Grammarly, it is another tool. This one can check your spelling. WordTune, a writing tool that uses AI to help users uh, improve their writing. Um, Quillbot, an AI-powered paraphrasing and writing tool that can help users create high-quality writing quickly. Content at scale, Postwise AI, and Pick a Style. These are all things that, that listen, just take the time, put in your calendar, do a little research. Here's what I'm thinking we do. And we can, um, you guys can hit me in, in Slack. And if you are not on the team, and if you're not part of our group, you guys can just send me a DM on Instagram. Here's what I'd like to do is I'd like to put together a group of 10. And this group of 10 is going to be our, um, and sorry, I'll get right to you, Lizette. This, this group of 10, and it's only 10, it's a small, tight little group. It is going to be the, the AI um, task force. What we're going to do is um, we're going to watch all this stuff that I paid for. We're going to go through all the prompts. We're going to go through all of the exercises, some of the SEO uh, optimized you know, search prompts came from the session that I went to. Um, I want 10 people. And what I want to do is I really want us to go into there and I want us to find out the best ways to use AI, to work on this, have workshops that we bring to the rest of the team and really dive into this because, um, you know, like the statistics state, only 14% of Americans are truly using this for monetization. Monetization. We, the being who we are and being the tech forward company that we are, I think we will, will truly have an ability to take this to the next level. So if you're interested in joining a mastermind and really diving into to AI, uh, DM me on Slack or DM me on Instagram. And I'd love to start this small little group with you and then bring this information to the masses. Lisette, you had your hand up. Let's go to you.
Good morning, beautiful people. How is everyone today? Okay. Fantastic. I have to be fully transparent, and I am so juiced that you're having this conversation right now. I feel it's directly for me. Um, I have a new listing, and on Thursday, one of the things I don't enjoy doing is doing descriptions on the MLS. Anytime I have to do a post, it stresses me out to try to figure out what the heck I'm trying to say without being super long-winded. Okay, so then I thought on Thursday, oh my gosh, what's that AI thing? Because my brain doesn't automatically go to technology. And I'm mortified to say this, but I'm going to be super transparent. I could only remember AI. I couldn't remember chat GPT. I couldn't remember any of those damn things to figure out how to even use the chat GPT. Or I had no idea that you fully on can recreate your brain to the 100th power, really. So this is more of a thank you, Elias, for speaking about this today, because I was going to be Googling next, how do you use AI, simply because I couldn't even remember ChatGPT. So I am excited to no longer stress about this and utilize this to its maximum. Oh, I love this. I love this. You guys, if you if you know any, if you spend any time with me, you'll know that when I get when I get on something, I get fixated on something. It's like I want to figure it out, and this is something that it's new to me as well. Um, but we're still early in the game that we really can use it to our advantage. So I'm going to be joining more masterminds. I'm going to be asking the people that I know at the highest level that are really, really using this. And I'm going to be bringing all that information back to you guys. I already have two people that DM me, uh, three people now with Jess that want to get involved in this AI. So I have seven spots left. And it, even if I don't care if it's just us four, you know, rapping about this and really diving into it, I have every single thing that we'll need just to at least be dangerous, get started, and then start brainstorming on this. So I'm really excited about how this is going to help us all elevate our game. So let's do this. I want to go around the room. I want to hear some takeaways, some thoughts, and where your mind is at. So let's just go around the room. Um, who do I have on? Let's go over to, um, let me see. Let me go on my second screen. Let me go on my second screen. Um, so Jesse, I know you're driving big dog, but based on the conversation, where's your head? Where's your thoughts? What are some of your takeaways from our conversation today? Um, the, the chat GPT, uh, I need to get on my shit and like, really like utilize that. Um, like, cause I hate that it writes it for you. Cause being a writer, like it, I, I want to write it cause, but just the time that it saves, like you just can't, you got to use it. So, um, I already got, I took a screenshot of all the AIs that you had. So, uh, time to get to work. Yeah, you can go, go back and watch the recording. I'm also going to drop some information in um, Slack that way you guys have it uh, for things and tools. And hopefully I'll be able to share some of the recordings if I'm able to extract that, but appreciate you. Uh, let's go to, uh, let me see, let me go to this next page over here. Danielle Martinez, Danielle Martinez, throw your camera on if you can. Let's hear your key takeaways from our time together today. Hi, good morning. How are you? I'm good. You can't get me with the boomer. I already unmuted myself, so I'll save you the trouble. Um, no, I really like the chat GPT, but I kind of like to mix it up if I use it. Because I think all of us will get, I don't want to, everyone sounds robotic, and then it's not special. It's like you can tell, you know? And I think it also adds a little bit to the dumbing down of America, you know? Like, we have to use our brains a little bit. We can't totally rely on that. Because then it just sounds fake. And then everybody starts sounding the same. And you can tell it's robotic. So I think it's great right now during this. I just typed in a bio and it put so much and it was great. But then a little bit sounds too robotic. So I think all of us have to read that, go in and adjust it a little bit. So it sounds more human and more real. That, that's my take on it. On all levels, Danielle. Um, I also think that if you just used it, say for your books, Right? Um, five secret things to know about Sacramento. Well, I didn't really know those things. So it's like that comes directly from you. It's like you get the research and you're like, okay, paraphrase it. I don't use those words. That's not my style. I got to add a hella because I'm from the Bay. Like whatever that looks like. And so you have to make it yours. But like now they at least provoke some thought and, and allow it to be a moderator of thought. And so I, I do appreciate that because I never want anything to sound contrived. So I'm with you on that yeah. one. Colin Elbasan, you had your hand up, bro. What was your takeaway on the conversation? 
You know what? I think I should, I'm a little overwhelmed as you know today. So I think I'm going to do something rare. I'm going to be mainly in listening mode, but yeah, I would just dovetail on what you said that I think it's, it's not so much that, that AI is going to do it for us. There's going to be a feedback of us asking of it, it delivering it to us, us modifying it. So there's going to be kind of a synergistic relationship um, where uh, it's actually augmenting and improving us, not doing it all for us. But anyway. And leveraging. It's, it's giving you back your time, right? It's just giving you back your time, right? That's it, you guys. And that's the most valuable thing that each of you have. Let's get a couple other people to chime in on this conversation. Cortez, love Preet. Would love to hear from you guys. If you can't throw your camera on, uh, Cortez first. Key takeaways from our time together. And where's your thoughts at, big dog? Um, Sorry. Um. I like the AI. I don't be knowing which app to use, but um, I use, I get a lot of my scripts from AI from the captions app. I use the captions app and you can type in all type of stuff. Like damn near half of my content comes from the captions app. So it, you can type in what you want and it definitely will make a script for you. So, and then you could tweak it just like Danielle said, you know, to make it sound like yourself. So I'm a huge, uh, you know, I'm I'm all for it. So I want to learn more because, yeah. like, um, somebody said they was scheduling their calendar and all type of stuff. So I I want to dig deeper into it because I have no idea about yeah. um, all that. So next week I'm going to show you how to use AI to create your whole entire newsletter. It's a, that that like literally that simple to be able to create the whole sequence of your newsletter if you don't have one already. Let's go to Love Preet, then we'll go to Hector, and then we'll start closing out the room. <laughs> Hi everyone. So um what my biggest takeaway is realizing that it's not only chat GBT, that there's other AI websites that I could be using. So definitely gonna try to look into those and see how I can integrate that into my business, into my marketing, into my reels, and just I guess into my job. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. No, I love it. I love it. Hector, let's go to you, big dog. Key takeaways, and we'll end up with Chris Edwards. Um, key takeaways, obviously, is how to use ChatGPT Chat and AI to, to really help you with, um, you know, the writer's block. A lot of times we get stuck with, you know, what do I post? What do I talk about? You know, we're always looking at answer the public and different, you know, tools out there in terms of um, finding content to create. I think ChatGPT and, and AI itself helps us kind of unblock that thought process to give us ideas of what to post, what to create, newsletters, content, video, et cetera. But yeah, absolutely. You have to make it your own. You have to personalize. It's got to be in your tone, your voice. So uh, at the very least, ChatGPT is doing is it's helping you create all that content without having to burn up your own, you know, cell time and and your own, um, you know, brain waves. Uh, it'll just kind of help you understand what what to find and what to to put out there, and you just kind of make it your own. So that's that's what I took away from it. That's how I'm using it. And um, I hope that we continue talking about that because AI is definitely here to stay and, and it's going to be a big part of our business. It's not going to yeah. get rid of us whatsoever because people still want to do business with people and uh, it's all about relationships. So don't, don't be afraid of AI. Yeah, totally. Yeah. It's here to stay. So we're going to, we're going to master this thing. Uh, Chris Edwards and then Jess, so then, uh, Jess will be the last contribution. Uh, Hector basically just took the words out of my mouth. Um, it's, it's going back to what Donna Chan earlier said. She she, she I said earlier she said that um, she doesn't think that you know AI will replace us, and we are one of the few industries where AI I honestly feel cannot replace us. So it's better to form a relationship with AI and use it to to your to your abilities best you know for your business. Because if you don't, you are definitely going to be behind. That's a fact. So yeah, just form a relationship, even if you don't use it, just form a relationship with it so you can understand it. Yeah. And I, once again, you guys, we won't lose our jobs to AI, rather lose to someone that knows how to use AI better than we do. Jess Bling, let's hear from you. And then we're going to close out. I'm going to share one thing with you guys that you guys can do today to really amplify what you're doing on social. <laughs> Jess. Hey, y'all. Uh, um period point blank, early adopters are the ones that are winning. Regardless, you can fight it, you cannot see the value, you can be hesitant. It's up to you how quickly or how fast you want to adopt this. But just keep in mind that people talk shit about Facebook and didn't believe in the vision, and you see how big it is. People talk shit about Instagram and you see how big it is. People talk shit about TikTok and you see how big it is. TikTok is one of the top five search engines. And it's still going. People fed into the hype and were like, it's 
disappear because of the media. Like listen, pay attention to the shit that you listen to and that you put into your body. So you can resist it and be the last one to miss out on the opportunity, or you can hop on it, possibly make some mistakes, but learn how to fine tune it and excel and blow all these other agents out of the water. It's up to you. Boom. Boom. <laughs> you guys, I want you to think about the quality of things that you're doing this week. Don't overthink it. Uh, but really look at the quality of the things that you're doing, your cam camera angle, stillness, what you're writing, how you're writing it, the look of it. Is your camera fucking dirty or does it have makeup on it? Like, I want you guys to be conscious of these things. Also, I want you to be conscious of just creating some B-roll this week and not saying anything on one to two videos this week. And I've been using this as an example, and I want to show you guys. I created one yesterday. Um, it was just about life's too short. And I'm not saying this because I'm an expert. I'm telling you this because I'm consistent. This one right here, which I created yesterday, uh, right in the morning time, it's gotten played 7,700 times. It's been liked 153 times, and it's been reshared 55 times just from yesterday. So sharing, savable, and now so many other people are seeing it, and my followers went up. So I didn't say a fucking word in that video. So if you have something of value, you create that text on screen, and then in the descriptions, you put that same thing down below or put something that is, you know, um, going to grab somebody's attention for them to read downhill. It's, and for the people that have been creating that, I see you guys, the text on screen are working in a big way. We don't always have to say something to capture our audience. We can have them read something that is short, sweet to the point. And it will get tons and tons of views if it's something valuable. So that's what I want to leave you guys with. That shit's working. And like I say to you guys, I have, I'm going to ask you to try, to try things. I'm going to try them myself. I'm never going to ask you to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. So if I'm going to tell you to get in the ring and, and take some knocks on the chin, I'm going to be the dude next to you with my mouthpiece and taking some knocks on the chin. But also, I'm going to learn how to counterpunch really, really fast. So we're in this together, you guys. Let's try. Let's go out there and make this a great week. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your contributions at a high level today. And as always, keep it moving towards your dreams, goals, and vision, and go out there and crush your week. Peace!